Now, we begin. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Sergeant Rumps back with some more Lowdy gameplay. We're versus the Mundo in the top lane. Sure, like the channel. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. We are we are rocking this play. They're feeling pretty good right now about it. We're our MMR is clearly getting the masters. We're seeing more masters borders trying to load in. It's kind of how you get an idea of like what MMR you're in. Um, based on the borders, usually a good indication. Because uh, as always, like your rank isn't really what matters. It matters is your MMR, which like the back end rank you're at. Um, a lot of people don't understand that, but high level players, you, if you watch us fairly often, you'll see a lot of us only really care about what our MMR is. Because ultimately, if your MMR is really high, then your ELO games will get you to where uh, you're supposed to be. Your win-loss ratio. So. It's all about being like long run oriented. Everyone gets so caught up in the short term that um, they, they lose sight of what matters. Of course, our first strike not doing too much right now. We are playing with a uh, Light Rocket, who's a uh, well known, um, well known for his Tark Jungle One Trick. Pretty unique. Pretty unique. It, it does work pretty well, but I've seen it. I've seen it kind of do well. I've seen it do poorly. I mean, not really any different than like any other champion in league. You know. I haven't gotten any first strikes off. Kind of unfortunate. Using these minions to, to just kind of. Oh, beautiful. Dang it. Come on. You're going to throw that at me right when I'm pulling your spirit, getting that amazing first strike? Not quite enough to kill it. We got my jungler on the top side, so we feel kind of okay. And we have poked him down a little bit. We do have minions, so we're feeling okay. We know it can be quite tanky. We actually see Hecker there on the bot side. You see when there's, like, not really too much going on, um... That I will be watching the mini map. That's really the best time to watch the mini map. Is when your when your enemy laner isn't really contesting you on on position and, and lane, and they're just kind of letting you stand up. That means you can just walk up and you know, or you can just like stand on your minions. You'll be right. Nice. Oh, even waited a little second for that first strike. Nice, big gold. Use the tentacles we have set up here to push really, really, really quickly. Beautiful. I'm doing Q Max, just gonna let me, uh. Jeez, I did not expect that much damage. Dang. Not bad. Or healing, for that matter. So afraid of dying, but... I'm gonna teleport back. Do you have a ward? Okay. Okay, she's gonna go back top. I'm actually just gonna run. Versus things like Mindo, I do like to go Black Cleaver first. I'm gonna go ahead and get Boots with the upgrade. Or the, uh, I went to Dead. I think it's worth the get Boots, which is really vital. Help me dodge the Mindo Qs. Definitely if I turned a little bit quicker there, I could have, uh, gotten in. Dang, man. No, you gotta walk a few more steps. Oh, gee. Not good. Should just let him die. I guess Ziggs killed two. Ziggs committed. I thought it was Mindo teleporting. I didn't expect TF to teleport and then Mindo teleport. That's whatever. The old uh, teleporting pre six on a Laway. It would have gone better if they weren't so behind, right? If Jinx could have just lived a little bit longer. Yeah, they get Drake though. Take that. Drake's done a little bit, not too much. 
Gotta watch out for that, unfortunately. Makes it. Although I can save my minions all I want, you never know, uh, the Qs. Fortunately, his uh, other ability he has now does let him poke through the minion wave. I think Hecarim would be topside. I can 1v2 this. I need to focus on Hecarim though. Mundo's gonna have that passive heal. Oh my god. Like, all right, literally five million moves fit. I guess I should have just eaten Mindo and tried to burst him down. A lot of junglers will just like run straight at you, makes for a really easy uh, E into kill. What if I want to go into debt for the long sword? Really annoying. The uh, champs can get to the point where they're too much in league, and uh, you kind of see it up there. Basically makes any skill shot impossible to hit, just naturally. Oh well. I can do work for 16, we can get to that point in the game. Seem the downside to first strike. No ult. Hecarim was kind of low, but maybe he hangs out. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. This guy, man. You know that Cleaver's coming? Right after I landed E, we can like, type that out. Oh, it's a little bit more gold. See my jungler taking Rift. Mundo's not moving, which implies that. Oh, never mind. Not that I can help him. Wow, I didn't get two tentacle slimes off. That sucks. That sucks. It's falling apart a little bit. Not like a I knew that was coming because he wanted to hit my first strike. I sidestepped it. Good job. Have ult coming up. From this position, I can just E ult uh, Mundo and kill him through his ult. So if they one one v two me, I'm fine to take that that attempt again. I think I think there's a reasonable chance I win the one v two. So the payoff's really big and the risk isn't too too you know too high. Um, hello? Okay, that was a little awkward. Got a little, uh, duck on the minions. I'm now afraid of Hecarim because I will die to burst damage. So I should probably leave. I want to leave, but not man. You know what? Oh, Hecarim's bot. Okay, I'm gonna say aggressive pub. Might be able to get a dirty dive off. Not quite. Sometimes, so what happens is you can, um, maybe I get it lucky? No, it's gonna, he's gonna heal at this one. The way it works is, um, what you're looking for is just to burst him down with the E flash ult combo before his ult heals him enough. Worth the matter. Oh well. I will get an executioner for sure. It just, what the, the way his ult works now where it gives him base health, it's not as effective as it used to be. Or it's not a must-have as like it used to be. But I'll just go and get it. It's gonna work well for it against Hecarim anyways. So it's gonna make my 1v2 strong. But it does send me back on my Divine Sunder, which is a really strong power spike. You see he's gonna build armor first. He's not there yet, he's only about health. So I'm, I'm gonna go Divine Sunder and then maybe go uh, Lord Dominic. Actually, no, I might go, um, sorry, Sorrelda's Grudge instead of Block Cleaver. Definitely, definitely, we're still in this game. I mean, we're down 7 to 1, but we're still in it. I haven't used Rift yet, which kind of sucks. So. Alright, dude. Okay, heck around. Keep whittling down this Mundo. Done a decent job with first strike. Now we got a second played. Ult's coming back up. Tearful should be up. We got Ward, so I know what's going on. I mean, I'll know if I'm being ganked because Predator on Hecarim. The 
still see Hecarim. Did he have his item? My goodness. Not a big deal. Did we get it? No, we did. Good job. Art does a surprising amount of damage. I actually hate to see that. So close. Three kills. You must have gotten one down here during this. I just got two now, yeah. I have so much gold from this, holy moly. I mean I'm not like I'm not like disgruntled or anything by the way this line's gone. It looks like he's like destroyed me, but um just you know that teleport play didn't go our way and then uh that one player right there. Other than that we've been doing fine. I think we played the landing phase fine as well. I kind of got unlucky with Hecarim having 8 million mood speed, and we would have won that 1v2 if we would gotten out. Get one more play in. This guy, are you serious, man? I don't want to do anything too crazy until my ult's back up. We don't know where Hecarim is. I have Divine Sunder and, uh... Executioner's on. Big. Keep, keep side stepping. If I hate something, I destroy it. If I hate something, I take it. We do have a stopwatch up, so we can make a play around that. Jinx being a natural like take down carry is uh and with Tarik being a team fighter. We have decent like yeah, we have decent comeback potential. The enemy team cannot get comfortable right now. Ow. Here, I'm definitely going mid with that. I'm gonna rotate, I'm just gonna take the play. Keep bodying this guy. So close. Um, okay. I'm prepared to fight. Boom, baby! I told y'all watch for the stopwatch play. Whew. I was really afraid when I was ulting. I wasn't going to have time for it. <laughs> I, was, I thought I was going to die. I, I was ulting. I was, I was just spamming stopwatch. I'm like, please, if I just get this off. Because what happens is I land the spirit. The, the ultimate spawns the tentacles. They all naturally will slam because the spirit's been pulled. It becomes a really, really good play. I'm also bottle now. Nice. I mean, we just went from, uh, from, what, one item to two item? We can. I run mid here and help defend this. But I think I'm just gonna go ahead and just play to the split push a little bit more. Push this out real quick and then we have to Drake. Getting some mountains would be massive, preventing this window from popping off with the armor and magic resist. Defensives from it. Go ahead and run down now. I'd like to push one more, but I just don't think it's... I don't think we can. I mean, the battle for positioning starts now. I'm going to help push mid, though. A little bit of mid prio. That'll bring them out from the bot river and back towards the lane to defend the turret. Which should open up more more positioning for us. First strike. Okay. Nice. 
So you can see here it's kind of split up. What we want. Any ults? Uh, it's so hard to ult any of them. But we can start taking away all the... Not bad. That was very good. Jinx! Uh, that, was, that, that flash was very good. I should have ulted where I was and saved my flash. Kaiser's for some reason ulted right on top of me. That's my opinion. What happened? I don't even know. Let's start building towards Grudge. See, he was really tanky. Yeah, that far. Wait, wasn't. No, Zig's part was dead. Oh, nice! Good job, buddy. I am a teacher. Wait, what's well, not split? It was split. Oh, big damage. An enemy has been slain. And maybe you meant split up, like we were here, and then like people ran back here or something. It's kind of weird. I think we all did turn them into, didn't we? I mean, definitely winnable. We're down pretty big gold in that fight, and we still managed to uh, do okay, I guess. Probably running towards the bottom. I'd probably trade at a bare minimum. Kaiza isn't the best ADC in the world into Alawe. Kind of weird that he just predator down here to hold that with like no one else. Definitely expecting more. I mean, I see Pike here now. I thought he get this. I mean, we tried a top tier one. Gifts like looking top. Kind of plays his zone down here. It's not looking for a bot play. Not unique. Ow! Okay. Wait, where did all my health go? Oh, I did 1800 damage. In no time. That sucks. So you're having Cirque Sage, not having it second. Feels kind of bad. I don't know what this one is. I think it was bad. Oh, not quite. And they're tanking everything under the sun. Oh. Oh, not quiet. Yeah, Jinx and... This Jinx and Terry, I can believe in it. Big? Big! No, I'm gonna go... Wait, you know what? I should've gone Baron, actually. I saw the turret, and I just had to do it. They were, we're probably not in a position to do Baron anyways. It's probably fine. Yeah, Bardo's flaming this Jinx early. Jinx went that really well. Yeah, we can maybe take this turret and get out. Zig can take turrets so, so quickly. And then I have Divine Sunder as well. Pretty sad about that one, yeah. I mean, you should just take the turn at that point. I don't know why you're running away from that. Can we get it? Yeah, we got it. Where does R? I don't know if they can actually Baron, can they? Uh, maybe they can. Getting kited by Pike, how fun. 1 in 5? Wait, I'm 1 in 5. Holy moly, man. This is like I'm doing that four lane. Ooh, okay. Oh my boy. And he didn't give him a portal and that's pretty good. Good fight. 
Oh, let's get turned. Let's get turned. Means things are coming in hot. Blanking. I can turn this. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Pat Bard, old Jinx Center or uh, anti synergy. Yeah, they, they don't want to mess with me. They don't want to mess with the one and five allowing. I have grudge to big. Okay. We've seen one big team fight. Maybe with three items, we'll be alright. Syracuse Sage is definitely next. I need that defensive capability. I'm very offensive. But unfortunately, they still have a good bit of damage output on their team. I probably get the uh, Dragon Contestus. Hard Canard to, to stall. I have, I have Flash Ults. Could be big. Right? Let my team do the damage. Let my team do the work. Look at that. Watch for the turn. Ike actually lives with 1 HP. And I just get decimated by Kaiza. Oh, it's so unfortunate, yeah. That's big. Big, huge. Keep Jinx alive, keep Jinx alive. Nice. Big. Hey, you know what? We don't have to beat the carry this game. We don't have to be. We just gotta land some key E's that get people like TF killed. That's what we gotta do. Get some objective gold coming out. Let's go, dude. An enemy has been slain. I can definitely tell I'm, I, I feel very squishy. Oh! Oh, if Jinx is moving forward? I think she gets the kill. Big! They seem to get out of there. Basically at this point, every E I land, we can, we can almost kill anyone. So I land any on. I don't have to do the damage either. If I'm with the team, I just pull the E and then just kite because I'm probably gonna get CC chain. They're really good CC chain, you know. TF Sun, Ekram Fear, Pike Q, Pike Sun. So they have a lot of uh, CC capability. You are not Ooh, I can't really, I can't over push. Gotta reset. Fighting in here is okay, but. I mean, you can look at the map right now. I mean, no reason to be up. Film towards Grudge. They should push in. I mean, someone should react to that. If not, I could look for a teleport. It's usually not worth just seeing in it, though. I'll go on the part. Big gold. We're gonna park at the. I got barred at the fly. Excuse me. You can look with that, buddy. Grudge is kind of a cool item into uh, Hecarim because it slows him down, reducing his damage as well. Might be a little pushed up. One thousand gold from and damage from True Sight, Drake definitely, definitely not too shabby. I'll push this. I can teleport to the team, and I can also create this. Oh, okay. we Jinx her, Jinx her, Jinx her, Jinx, 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 Jinx. Not sure. And it's probably too obvious to be. To be fair, it probably would have been too obvious. And Hecarim has the eight million boost seed. Yeah. Probably better to save it, but dang. The reward is so good. Woo! 
Ooh, very gold. Oh, this is done. I did so much damage! The Jinx is dead. I'm curious how much damage I did in that fight. I just have to teleport on spawn. We'll slow this and build towards our series again. I mean, I tanked a lot of damage. I dealt a lot of damage. Do you have any anti healing? Oh, no, we don't. Oh, just. Yeah, just kill. Kill here. Kill here. Big. Big zigs, baby. Yo, I really dig this Glacial Augmentari. Holy moly. That's really neat. So much utility in that. One more sun. Get the play fragment. Beautiful, baby. I can't really teleport to anything. Teleport here, but at that point, I might as well just run. Any drinks are on the way? Turn this. How big up the right CG? Next one. If he believes he can heal, I'm in. I'll tank you. I'll even tank a little bit. You can heal up, buddy. Oh my gosh, he can heal. Nice. Let's go, dude. Get the Drake. Afterwards. I'll recall. Head over. Because I can buy Sarah's Sage. Help keep me alive a little bit longer in these fights that I've not been living long in. Two and seven. It really doesn't feel like I should be two and seven, but I think it's just the nature of how these fights go. It's kind of like a, uh, I'm just in the front and everyone else is peeling back, and I'm kind of like I'm a uh, land to the slaughter, you know? But, working out. But I don't mind. Hey, I don't I don't care about the KDA. I care about the, the W's and the L's. That's all I care about. End of the day. Oh, hello, buddy. Later! And that is why we go to Grudge. I mean, I don't- I think it's worth flashing for. I think we learned our mistake on the last play. Uh, where we hit the flash forward to try to kill Pike. We learned from that that we should not be doing that for a Pike. It's not good. Our flash R is an incredible incredibly strong thing and probably training it for one kill usually isn't enough unless it's a kill on a key player like Kaiza. Um, pretty much only like in this game the only real reason to flash R kill or, or flat sorry to flash forward to just get a solo kill is literally if Kaiza's like one shot we kill her it's the only reason anyone no one else on their team is really worth it you know otherwise we're using our ult to just create massive amounts of chaos create a sphere of influence that we can protect and kind of disrupt the enemy team and do a lot of damage at the same time so that our team can pop off. That's what we're looking for. Uh, hello, dude. Oh, snap. A 1v9 performance coming out. That's a game winner. Anytime someone's stuck in their animation like that, it's a really easy way to land an ace. Woohoo! Yo, kind of, a, kind of a weird game, but at the end of the day, we make a big play and it wins. Hey, I'll take it. Hell yeah. I love using flash like that. You use flash to kind of flash over everyone's ability and get someone who's, like, not expecting it. Um, so they're... I used to flash, kind of dodge Hecarim and Pike, and just get right on top of Kaiser and just finish her off. Really good job. I'll give it to Light Rocket. Really well played. Then tilt, hung in there, 24 LP. Absolutely beautiful. I need to look at how much we did with uh, the first strike. Third top damage. Fine. Again, our KDA wasn't great. We didn't have a ton of gold, but we still did a lot of damage. First strike, almost 1,500 gold from that. And uh, we'll go like the gold graph because we we were bad. 
Like, it looks like we did poorly, but I don't think we actually did that poorly if you look at the 1v1. We were behind, wow, we were behind um, 8k gold on this. But you look, it looks like we came out of landing phase really poorly. But, I mean, the worst we were behind is 500 gold. Amunda killed me. That's when Hecarim ganked me the first time. And that that was almost... That, if I land either, it's a 1v2. GG, no reread. And, and it looks like we did really poorly, poorly right? Mundo was 3-0. Uh, we were 0-2. It looked terrible. We, we were actually... We are actually up on gold. <laughs> Even after that, we were still up on gold. So first strike, CS different, play different, pays off. It's not about the KDA. It's about, it's about, every, it's about the whole... The whole thing. I hope you liked the video. See you tomorrow.